Hey everybody. Let's say you have a uh, memory card, such as this um, SD card here, that is giving you problems, such as when you're using your camera, it freezes your camera, your camera can't record files, or just, you know, whatever. Um, sometimes your memory card may become corrupted. Now, I see that has, I have seen a lot of problems with Transcend products, and this thing here, while I have used it heavily, uh, for the most part it works okay, but I do have problems with it. And this is not the first, probably not the second, maybe not the third time I've had to do this to this card. Because right now this card has gotten so corrupted to the point where my camera won't successfully record for no more than four minutes, you know, or something like that. But if you have a look at this card, you can tell it's gotten really hot. That's not the card's fault, that's actually due to, um... Well, I, you know, I, I could possibly blame it on the card, but, you know, all my cards get get this hot in my particular cameras. The DXG567V and the Kodak ZI6, which are very similar cameras, um, seem to make SD cards get very hot. But um, that's beside the point. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a memory card like this work again using disk part. Now the Mitar Deluxe is currently down due to hard disk failure. So I'm going to be performing this um, maintenance on the black max so let's go in and set the black max and use disk part to see if we can get this memory chip to work again now at the end of this video i'm going to talk a little bit more about some of the problems i've had with this thing but basically as i mentioned um when i try to record using the transcend card i have issues with the camera not wanting to record or files getting corrupted and you know why not? So basically I'm going to insert this card into the SD slot. And it does see it. Now, as you can see, it's saying it's asking if I want to scan and fix. I'm going to say continue without scanning. I already tried formatting this card and that didn't fix the problem. Now of course scanning and fixing might do it, but um, let me show you something that you can easily do. It's not very hard at all. Now you can probably do this in Disk Manager too. Get a better focus here. Now let's go ahead and go into Command Prompt. Now you shouldn't have to run this as administrator, but you may have to if you have user account control turned on. So basically I am going to go ahead and run this as administrator to show you how. Basically I just type CMD in the start menu here. And you can probably do about the same in Windows 8 and on Home Sensor, but right click on CMD. Say run the administrator. And here is a look at command prompt. We are going to run disk part. Just type in disk part and press enter. You will get a command line here in just a moment. I'm going to say list disk. And the disk we need to look at is disk number one. So we're going to select disk one. We're going to say clean. Access is denied. Let's try it again. Sometimes I get this error. It succeeded that time. So if you get an error, just try clean again and it should work. Scroll down so you can see here. Now I'm going to create a new partition. So create partition primary. Now I'm going to select partition 1. And now I'm going to hit assign. Now Windows is going to say we need to format the disk. So format. I'm going to give this um, card its name. Just like it was before. You 
just name it whatever you don't even have to name it actually now you can go quick format or long format I'm going to choose the long format more or less and more more of a low level format to make sure this thing is going to work I'm going to click start and we'll let this format Okay, everybody, now the format has completed, so I'll select OK. Which, by the way, the noise you hear is the fan, the CPU fan in this system that's air cooled. Phenom 2s do run pretty hot. But, um, anyways, we're going to um, we're going to close this out, go back to command prompt, go ahead and exit this part. You're going to close out command prompt. Now we'll go ahead and just remove the SDHC card. And now you just reinstall it to your camera and start using it again. It should work just fine. Now anyways, I'm going to do another video about my experiences with various brands of memory cards like this. So anyways, go ahead and look forward to that. Anyways, thanks for watching.